Hello everyone. Today we will see the recipe of village style mutton curry or goat curry in instant pot. If you do not get goat in your area, you can replace the same curry with lamb also. The ingredients needed for our fresh masala are 8 red chilies, 2 tablespoon coriander seeds, some little cumin seeds and little bit pepper. First heat a pan and dry roast the ingredients which I have shown now. After few minutes the ingredients will get roasted well and they will release a nice aroma and will get nice brown in color. This is the right stage you can switch off the flame and transfer it into a bowl for grinding. Let it cool down for few minutes before we grind it. These are the ingredients which I am going to roast in oil and grind it. So I have taken 7 to 8 small onions, few ginger garlic chopped and few curry leaves. Heat a spoon of sesame oil and add the sliced onions, small onions. If you do not get small onions, that is fine. You can finely chop the big onions and add it and roast now. Then add the finely chopped ginger and garlic. Roast them until they turn brown in color. Our onions, ginger, garlic are getting roasted very well and they turn light brown in color. Now we can add the curry leaves which we have. Now we will take the dry ingredients and transfer it to a mixer jar and grind them first. I grinded the dry roasted ingredients. I am not adding any water. Now I am going to add the roasted onions, ginger, garlic and going to grind them together along with the dry roasted powder. After grinding them to make it a smooth paste, I am going to add little bit water and grind it again. So we will get a smooth paste of our roasted ingredients. This is the fresh crown village style masala for our mutton curry or goat curry. Here I have taken 500 grams or 1 LB of mutton and few onions chopped, big onions and few tomatoes like I have taken one big tomato and sound cumin and few curry leaves. I am going to marinate the mutton with turmeric powder for few minutes. These are the ingredients needed finely, the fresh ground masala, the chopped onion, tomatoes, the items for tempering and marinated mutton. Switch on the instant pot in saute mode and add 2 tablespoon of sesame oil. When the oil gets hot, we will add our tempering items, sound and cumin seeds and we will wait for them to crack. You may be wondering why I am not adding any biryani spices for flavor. Only the sound and the cumin will give the flavor. Only in kurma we will add the biryani spices, not for the authentic goat curry. When they get roasted well, they will give a nice flavor to our curry. And I am going to add the chopped onions and going to give a quick salt. After the onion gets cooked well, I am going to add the chopped tomatoes and going to give a salt until they come together. So let's wait for them to come together as a mixture. When the onion tomato mixture comes together, add the mutton and give a quick mix of everything so that the mutton get roasted very well in the oil. Now add the required salt for our curry. After adding salt, I am going to add the freshly ground masala for our mutton curry and going to mix everything together. After mixing well, make sure that nothing sticks to the bottom of the instant pot. If it gets sticks, just deglaze them with a tablespoon of water so that we will not get burnt mode while closing the instant pot. Sort everything together for 5 minutes and make sure the bottom is clear, mine is clear. After 5 minutes, I am going to add a cup of water. Mutton will release lot of water while cooking, so add less water. So even if it is very thick, we can add le water later. Now it's time to close the instant pot lid. Make sure the pressure vent is sealed by pushing it down. After closing the instant pot lid, cancel the saute mode and set the pressure cooker mode on timer for 15 minutes. Pressure should be high, so set high pressure mode. After natural pressure release of 10 minutes, manually release the pressure and wait for the pressure to come down. I am going to open our instant pot lid and see our mutton curry is cooked well. We have added just 1 cup of water but the mutton release lot of water and the curry consistency is very perfect right now. So if you feel your curry is thick, you can uh, feel free to add water now. I am going to add few cut coriander leaves and curry leaves for nice flavor. 
our perfectly cooked authentic mutton curry is ready to serve please do try this recipe and if you like it please subscribe to our channel and stay connected for future videos thank you